games. Let's get it right, Mark. <laughs> Tulsa will start with the ball. The road team, the Golden Hurricane, two and three. Their only conference game, a home loss to Wichita. Sir Kevin, Memphis is not shy. They like to get up and down. They like pace. They like to manufacture points off of pressure and the offensive glass. Back inside to Ubo working on the freshman Cisse. Back into the game. And then Haywood is stripped. It's a tremendous Memphis defense. Their struggles have been offensively, but they can get out and run. I don't want to say the wrong thing. It's something that's been with me for a long time. Uh, I just never talk about it. Uh, Sean Bell was 23 years old, killed by police in New York City in 2006. The morning of his wedding day, uh, was shot in Queens while leaving his bachelor party 50. What I love about the story is what he learned and how he grew. He eventually called his brother and apologized for not using his form. And that's thrown so away by Ray Ido. There's so many fits and starts to the season. It is hard to get a rhythm. It ends up in Quinones' hands. Lester Quinones with a spin around on the left hand. No, but the follow there from Cisse. Penny Hardaway called him the best shooter in the country when talking to us. Jeffries at the shot clock's expiration from Kawhi Leonard corner. He Memphis's second leading score and rebounder, DJ Jeffries. Brandon Rashaw, the all-conference player, a very quiet start tonight. Tonight, Brandon Rashaw, all-conference type talent. Good ball movement, Boogie Ellis. Ellis drains a three. Especially when you get fits and starts at practice time. It's also with only four field goals made, five turnovers in the game. And Penny Hardaway always enjoy our conversations with him. And we'll be seeing a lot of his Memphis Tigers on our ESPN networks throughout the year. Quinones had to step back, and Memphis is excelling. With Brady Manic and company. You like that, Kevin, the tenacious and the tough? Well, I actually just checked. I mean, the Santa coach could not get sued. I, I just don't see how that could happen. Santa has immunity. Yes. In the lane, Iduo sticks it in after the Quinones jumper. It's also really struggling for the field. Great home here in Memphis. It's an amazing story, and we can get into it more as the broadcast goes on. But Williams has played major minutes today. Richie splashes down a 3D team, which likes to play at such a frenetic pace, has had some long and at times lethargic possessions. Quinones from Williams, and Quinones buries a three. The Memphis's last seven. Hardaway finds it. Hardaway from Quinones along two. Now, Quinones had some Ron Harper in this game. Remember Ron Harper played for the Chicago mm -hmm. Bulls? Similar type player, physical guard. On DeAndre Williams' foot. Boogie Ellis is in. Memphis goes smaller. And Tulsa attacks the center of the defense. Emmanuel Ubo with his second bucket. Turning point for both teams. It was kind of the moment where everybody took Tulsa a little bit more legitimately in the league. They had had an early win over Houston. A couple of wins over lesser competition, too. And he missed another three. Memphis has the ball with Jaden Hardaway. Hey, Williams will try to make something happen, and he will, two and a chance for three. God, there, there's frustration on offense right there. Richie, yes, a three. Memphis looked dysfunctional, and at times tonight, offensively as well, and again, you know, in this COVID environment, you just don't get the repetitions, and it shows value. Idowu on the back cut, Embry Simpson fouled, he scores! Keyshawn Embry Simpson off the contact. If somebody is going to win this basketball game. Who it is, is anyone's guess right now. <laughs> Ellis up top, and hey. Cisse with a flourish. And Cisse gets no shot. Drives me crazy. I would prefer if you gave us your honest answer next time. I might be, allegedly, I'm a University of Cincinnati graduate. Allegedly. Ooh. Thunderous screen. Quinones was knocked down. Richie hits the three. Austin Richie filling in extremely well for the loss of Jariah Horn. Williams passes up a three. Nolly takes it, and Landers Nolly 
Four point game. Tulsa has not led in the second half. Jackson, Idowu, Richie. Yes, for three. It's a one point game. Teams' defenses have been elite tonight. However, it really comes down to focus versus frustration. I sense frustration from Memphis. I sense. Two free throws, Joyner. He's so engaged, Kevin. Even when he's out of the drill, he's on the base. Jeffries just one for four at the line tonight. The athleticism of these Memphis dudes. I'm going to sell out this possession. Possession. He'll drive with his head up. Joyner head up, finds Jackson. Jackson on the cut, and Jackson scores with a foul against Jeffries. College basketball player should be. He's patient. Late game situations. Still a lot of time in this game, and Memphis just can't panic offensively. Nolly. Trying to find Nolly. Oh, his pass yeah. taken away. Jackson with a steal. Jackson with a drive. And Jackson with a score. Maybe the put away basket. And if Tulsa can hold on now, up seven. 14 to 2 run. Williams, one for two at the line. And like, you don't want to make too much out of, out of one game here. It's early, there's some fluidity. And they have reared their head again against the line. Ellis. And Memphis hits his fifth field goal of the half. And back to tonight. <laughs> now they got to wake up tomorrow morning with, with sore jaws and, and weather the anesthetic and figure out a way to get better. Tulsa's fewest made field goals in a win since back in February against South Florida. Frank Hayes' team has struggled this season, but they win.